What is happening everybody? Clay Pike here. Another episode of the Jupiter Farmer. Just this guy right here. And uh, so today we're gonna look at why not to start your garden early. Uh, and definitely, you know, even if you're not even planting anything, probably not a good idea to wear a polo. You'll sweat it out in five minutes, September. But so one of the reasons why guys, that we don't wanna start too early is the the pest pressures i don't know if you can see this or not but right here getting ate up already and this is squash and right here we have some cucumbers and you can see there getting ate up so far uh the tomatoes are good and here we have these are broccoli they're also getting eaten up but you know we can solve that problem pretty easy guys all you have to do i gotta decide which camera i want to look at all you have to do is put some neem oil on it and you know it's totally organic neem oil it's very very inexpensive and it'll solve the problem so we're going to definitely get on that but just wanted to give you an update i wanted to to use my slider and get a, a slide shot We'll go ahead and do a slide shot with the, the GoPro, a simulated slide shot there. We'll just go down the road here, show you what we got going on. We got four trays of broccoli. Uh, this is some curly uh, mustard greens. And here are some, uh, the tomatoes we moved outside to see if the the temperature was going to be a factor in there as far as slowing down the growth. There's some more mustard greens. And here, just move these out of the way for now. Cabbages. Anyway, that's just a start. You don't want to get crazy. It is too early and, and the bugs will eat you up. Makes it a real pain in the butt, but I just want to get an early start so I could stretch the season out. Just a quick update. Thanks guys, Clay Pike, Jupiter Farmer. Tune back in for more gardening videos and learn how to grow your own food. Some healthy non-GMO, pesticide free. Your body will love you for it. Thanks for tuning in.